Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Long time no see, I know. Definitely gonna be some different things that y'all aren't used to. We got a, a new little critter in the house. Her name is Benelli, but we call her Nelly. Uh, she uh, loves playing fetch. She's a crazy little dog. She's half German Shepherd, half Malinois. Uh, so she's always hyper. She's a good dog. She listens pretty well. We've been taking her to training and stuff, and uh, she's a uh, pretty smart good kid. <laughs> Goofball. Well, today is March 4th, something like that, March 3rd. And uh, we are heading to old number one speedway for the winter blast. Oh, I'm sorry, it is March 5th. Um, we're heading there for the winter blast. Uh, we missed the first day out of baseball game yesterday. So uh, we're just gonna be tagging the back of um, the late model feature. So without further ado, I guess I'm not gonna, you know, mess with y'all too much. I'm sure y'all are wanting to see a car. If you don't have me on social media, this will probably be your first time seeing it, but here it is. Went a little bit of the same look with the black and gold, but this year got them numbers nice and shiny. So, thanks, big thanks to all of our sponsors. Uh, Fry, Eric Fry, my, Fry Metalworks. Uh, <coughs> he's got him, uh, the Steel Erectors, and of course, just the regular logo that y'all seen last year. Ebox Springs, or Ibox, however you want to say it. ATC Bolts and Fasteners, uh, Steve. Big thanks to him. He, every bolt you see on this car is from him. Uh, uh, Hoosier. Psh. Man, these suckers ain't cheap right here. We got... We got some new rubber right here. This thing, what was it? $420 for this brand new right front and that brand new right rear up on the uh, trailer. So, stuff ain't cheap. Uh, big thanks to our guy, uh, Josh Noel at Noel Industries. Uh, haven't gotten my pit lift yet, but that's what he's doing for me. Uh, he's hooking me up. Any kind of uh, boat needs, uh, accessories. He does all kinds of things, aluminum welding. Y'all get after him. Uh, we got the Merchandiser. That is not my nickname for people wondering. Uh, that is a uh, business, like you see, when you go into a gas station, they have the flyers where it's selling, uh, there's little newspaper looking things where it's selling uh, cars and trucks and there's all kinds of different ads on there. Uh, it's more of the old people, older people, not my, good grief, it's been too long, I can't talk. The older people might know what I'm talking about. Uh, the younger generation, like uh, my buddy Josh, y'all see him all the time in the videos. He thought that that was my nickname. So, uh, Fred Edwards at Speed Demon Performance uh, Parts. He's helped me a ton already. I mean, I'm super thankful for him. Checkers Pizza, uh, John Cook. He he we, he came back on after last year, so we're thankful to have him. Uh, if you're wondering, this is what you can. Uh, this is the reason why I don't have a YouTube being posted every time is because I started a wrap business in case you're wondering I did I designed this wrap and I made it myself and uh, put it on and it's been nothing short of amazing running this business and uh, got a printer and got it early in the year and have not slowed down man it's been awesome I'm super thankful for everybody all my customers who've uh, helped me out and uh, supported me it's it's been awesome from last year to this year it's uh We've seen a, a big difference, a whole lot more wraps that we've knocked out this year than compared to last. Uh, our boys, Josh Gotra, you see him all the time, the 32 rig. He'll actually be racing for the first time. He'll have his own late model this year, but his dad, Mike Gotra at Gotra Trucking, Integra Racing Shocks, and uh, uh, that should be all of them, I believe. I'm not forgetting anybody. Uh, of course, my dad and my grandpa help out a ton, but I'm excited. We're gonna go out there ain't we're not gonna do nothing crazy we're gonna tag the back i believe they had 10 late models last night <coughs> oh, i'm still <laughs> recovering from this uh flu covid or whatever they want to call it uh so we're gonna go out there we're gonna have some fun there's 10 late models last night um there, I, there, I don't think there will be i'm we'll be we'll make 11 so uh good number we'll see how we do uh oh also we got a new jay dickens uh power plant um so 
I'm really excited to debut it and see how it does. But other than that, we're locked and ready, ready to go. Well, this is gonna be a day race too. It is right now 10.38. Um, so we're racing starts at two o'clock. We're gonna hope to be at the track at let well we want to be at papa's about 11 30 got to pump some fuel still because we don't have a fuel pump so we have to strap the barrel to the back of the trailer uh but other than that we should be ready to rock y'all tag along and i'll see y'all at the track what'd you say How many i think 25 if maybe 20. Heck, if I know. I'm just gonna go out there and race. Uh, but we're here, we're unloaded. It's about five minutes till the driver's meeting, so I'm gonna go ahead and strap y'all on to the car. Y'all hold on tight. We're gonna go ahead and do some hot lapping first. Remember, there's no heat races tonight, so we're gonna go hot lap, feature. So, this ought to be interesting. <laughs>
I can't ever remember to do an outro at the track. Here I am. I've just finished editing everything. I'm all done. But uh, I guess I'd go ahead and recap the night. Uh, so went out to Harrisburg, old number one, and uh, hot lapped. <coughs> Sorry. And then uh, ripped and brake line. And how it ripped was completely my fault. Uh, some of you guys may know I don't run floating brakes personally. Uh, so mine are mounted to the um, axle tube. You have a little bracket that mounts. Well, you got to drill out the uh, holes in the axle tube and then thread your bolts through. Well, we had just recently switched to all stop tech stuff. So uh, we went from a 1.25 rotor which is about this thick <coughs> excuse me to a 0.810 rotor which is thinner which actually moves the brake over to the left just a tad bit but it was enough to get it out of those holes so we actually when i hit the brakes and it, uh even though those things were tight it twisted that brake uh caliper all the way around the axle tube which caused it to rip so it ripped the line uh meaning i didn't have brakes pretty much as soon as i went out there i think I didn't really remember it. They were mushy. They were mushy at best, really. That's what they were. So um, then we decided we're going to still run the feature, but I was going to roll, just kind of get a feel for the car, run in the back, start, you know, back off everybody so I don't get caused in the pile up, you know, first lap. First lap heroes, people got to try and win on the first lap, which those were all a bunch of good drivers, so I didn't really have to worry about that. So I, I laid back and... Um, Everything, I mean, the car felt great. We got to about 10 to go, and uh, that's when I knew I was going to start finally, you know, trying to hammer on it. And uh, you can't see because I couldn't get the uh, outside footage to work, but actually the uh, lead car, I was about to get lapped on a uh, lap 10. And then I ended up, by the end of the race, uh, when I started hammering down, I had a straightaway lead on him. So um, we definitely had the, <coughs> sorry. We uh, definitely had the car to beat, I believe. I think we had the fastest car out there. So uh, it just sucks that that brake thing happened. But it is what it is. We're going to keep on rolling. Uh, not sure where we're going to race next. Uh, the schedule's pretty tight with uh, baseball, so I don't have much time to do a lot of racing things on the weekend. But if we can squeeze in kind of like we did this weekend, if you know someone's racing, you know we might go and try it. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, appreciate y'all, especially y'all stuck around through this whole probably six month long, five, maybe four month long break. Y'all are real ones. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.